the challenges with data governance in enterprises that have embarked and have dabbled in, in attempting to stand up a data governance program is it is not easy. There are multiple ways that people pursue data governance. One is sort of like a stick. What can I do to control, and whether it be control access or control who gets, uh, who gets to change resources, uh, modify resources? Frankly, the successful data governance programs are ones who start really small and are incredibly focused. And so using tags in Snowflake is a perfect example of that where you're not buying a brand new tool, you're not deploying new technology, you are beginning to identify your data and, and tag it properly. And so that could be a wonderful beginning of a proper data governance program. Data governance is all about uh, visibility and it's all about reducing complexity. So it works really well with the you know, simplifying complexity uh, idea that Intricity has, has been talking about all this, all this time. And so what we see is data models get governed. Things that you might have in SQL DBM, those assets that live within SQL DBM get governed. And ultimately, what do we put into our data models are uh, a reflection of our processes. And so if we have a sales process, if we have an order to cash process, if we have a customer satisfaction process, whatever processes we're looking to capture, we want to make sure that as part of your data governance process, you do establish process owners, but also the data that goes into those subject areas around those processes now can have a, a home and can have proper definitions around it. On many of our projects, we produce something we call the program charter, which outlines naming convention. It outlines uh, rules around security. It outlines those things that are part of our data model so that it's easy for people to find them. And, and ultimately, I like the fact that we've got KISS on the, on, on the board because keeping it simple is incredibly important to a successful data governance program. A lot of times data governance happens uh, or starts at the executive level, sometimes even at the board level. And so the board wants to know what is the organization doing to govern its data assets. Much of it is about protecting assets, making sure that we have good policies in place. So things that come to mind are issues with PII or PCI data being exposed. But frankly, a good data governance program goes beyond that. It gets into consistency, it gets into trust, and it's getting into things that are much more holistic about data, not just solving a, a specific narrow use case. And so, frankly, data governance should not be a meeting in your company. It should be something that everybody embraces because it makes their jobs easier. And, and tags are a good, as I said at the, at the onset, tags are a good entry point into being able to support that. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.